Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your daily reading for January 12th. Today is Friday. We're looking forward to the weekend. And let's see what messages that, that the cards have for you guys. If you're new to my channel, hello hey, to you. Welcome in. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm always grateful for every single one of you. Uh, if you do find you enjoy your reading, please do take a quick moment there to press that thumbs up button. Give this video a like. Uh, it really does help the channel get seen when you press like you recommend the video and then they show it to more people it's just the way that it goes uh so and uh throw a comment in the box down below as well say hello where you're watching from especially if it's your first time always curious to know where everyone is we've got the queen of water coming out here for you guys today so this is the queen of cups energy this is all about you know it can certainly be about love and romance okay it can be about kindness and compassion think about your heart space the love energy that is is out there so there's some love in the air here for you guys and so some of you might be meeting someone new some of you might be looking forward to spending some time with somebody that you really care about and there might be even be a little bit of forgiveness or healing in your heart here as well when we get this energy it's to open yourself up to be kind to be compassionate and to maybe even elevate your level of understanding about someone's situation or circumstance or where even where they're coming from so it's a great energy coming in there but the queen of water also reminds you to take care of you um, take care of your own needs, your own energy, your, um, you know, your mental, your physical, your spiritual and your emotional energies, right? All of your needs are important. We forget sometimes to practice self-love and self-care. And this is that reminder for you. So see if you can find a little bit of space and time today or this weekend there to just do something nice for yourself. Even if it's, uh, you know, locking yourself in the bathroom for 15 minutes and trying to have a nice little bubble bath or something like that like that um, whatever that means to you so just do something nice to yourself and you will feel a lot lighter and brighter but listen to your intuition because the queen of water is very connected to our intuition and to our spiritual self so you might be receiving some guidance or some spiritual downloads this weekend so you can really benefit most likely from a little bit of meditation your advice from spirit, we've got the 10 of earth. Now, this can certainly be one about the home, about your family, okay, um, about counting your blessings, right? The 10 of earth is the 10 of pentacles energy. And this is, you know, uh, a generational card, right? It's your ancestors, your grandparents, your parents, your children, you, your spouse, right? All of these things, um, your uh blood relatives family right the family you're born into and of course your chosen family there as well so there could be something here going on that ends up being quite positive in your family unit some of you you want to spend a little bit of time at home this weekend right with that 10 of earth energy and you know uh, spend time with yourself with your loved ones maybe even declutter clean up your space a little bit uh, it can make you feel um, really great but the 10 of earth part of the message from spirit here for you is to count your blessings you have an abundant life and sometimes you know we sometimes we forget about all of the good things that we do have because if we're going through a difficult journey if we're going through some challenges or some traumas it can be really hard sometimes to see the good right so whatever your situation is whatever your circumstance whatever you're going with take a step take a step back and give thanks and be grateful for the little things in life because those little things that we have they really do add up to an abundance of wonderful things right even if it's just being thankful for the oxygen that you breathe or for the fact that maybe you do have a roof over your head or you have a job maybe it's not the job that you want or that you aspire to and maybe you don't make as much money as you want but you have a lot of abundance in your life and you have the potential there to make more money and to be successful in your career and all that jazz okay and we sometimes do just need to just take that moment back and I'm thankful and I'm grateful that I have this because other people don't and I'm thankful and grateful for all of the blessings and opportunities that are still manifesting in my life it really does shift your energy in a super positive way 
Some of you may have something coming down the pipeline for you as well. The Ten of Earth can be a card of inheritance. We can inherit a lot of things. We can inherit money. We can inherit um, talent, traits. And so this can be where, you know, maybe there are some blessings really flowing down to you. And whether this is just from a helpful person or whether you might have a little bit of uh, financial relief in your future, um, this is an opportunity for growth and potentially for healing a situation there as well. So if someone offers you some help or some advice or some guidance or, you know, whatever that happens to be, open your heart, queen of water, and accept it. Be thankful, be grateful, and accept any kind of help that may come along. And of course, if you're in a position of abundance, right? If you're in a position to help someone else, open your heart and help someone else as well. Um, it can make the world of difference. Uh, you know, even if you're just giving to charity or whether you're giving money or time or donating some goods, right? Because with the home energy, with the 10 of earth representing abundance, okay, sometimes we have a lot of stuff. And some of you might be really thinking of, of uh, simplifying your life a little bit. So this might be a weekend where you're spending some time at home, but you're going to cleanse and purge, clean out your closet. Um, you know, we're coming out of, you know, we've just come out of Christmas season, right? And so maybe you've gotten some new things to replace the old. And some people, yes, you want to go online and sell things for $10 on, you know, marketplace or something like that. But, you know, part of the message here is spirit saying, how can you give back or how can you help right um you know what can you pass down to other people and maybe you know do you really need that ten dollars that you might get from selling an extra chair on you know online or would it benefit someone else more than it would benefit you for that having that 10 bucks in your pocket would it benefit someone else if you donated that and gave that back so um you know so this could be something to think about donate the extra clothes that you don't wear um you know the uh extra books that you've read four times and now you don't need cluttering up your 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 uh bookshelf anymore right donating things is a really great way way to number one give back to other people but also what we put out we get back and we get back multiplied and of course that's not why we do things right we do things to be helpful but ultimately it's energy right and that's what happens is the energy that we put out the good the kindness the compassion the love that we put out flows back to us multiplied all right so just keep that in mind okay um and the blessings headed your way we've got the king of fire so this is a really energetic uh, kind of energy. So this could be you, right? You're finding balance in your life this weekend. Um, maybe you are taking care of your needs. And here you are, you're finding the uh, the delicate balance between the masculine and the feminine. And things are right with your world. But the King of Fire does bring in an energy. It can be your energy where you're all gung-ho, right? This is an energy of taking the lead, taking charge, doing something, getting something accomplished, okay? So so this can be a really productive weekend for you. You get some things done. You might even also want to be trying something new um, with that King of Fire energy, a little bit of an adventure uh, in there. So maybe some of you are getting out, you're meeting new people, right? And there's something might be quite exciting um, happening for you over your weekend, okay? So this can be really great. Um, I think yesterday we said that, you know, there's potential there for some of you to meet some new people or partner up with new people in the King of Fire can represent a person who is a blessing in your life over the weekend. This can be someone new, uh, someone who is like, you know, kind of really floats your boat a little bit. And it can be a friend, it can be a potential romantic interest, right? But someone who's really exciting to be around, maybe even someone that might inspire or motivate you in some way. All right, because the king of fire is like, is like people gravitate to the, the king of fire. Okay, so you could be meeting this person. Or of course, it could be someone that you already know that you're going to be spending some time with and you know this can be a really great um a really great energy for you a really great connection 
and some time well spent. But again, that can be your energy with the King of Fire. Whatever you start, whatever you do, whatever you want to accomplish this weekend, you can accomplish it because you've got the energy to do that. Some of you might be feeling a little spark of inspiration or creativity. And instead of just feeling a little creative, right, you can do something about it. So uh, you could be um, you could be just creating something wonderful. Maybe you uh, want to do some creative writing or perhaps there's something you want to do around your home with the ten of uh, with the ten of earth there maybe paint your walls redecorate or again simplify or declutter can be that for you as well so we've got three doors here for you guys I'm going to close out your reading with this um, we've got door number one right here door number two and door number three and this is just the divine doors so see what doors what portals are open for you right now and you can choose all three or you can just you know kind of gravitate towards whichever one kind of really draws you in and captures your interest but here is door number one and it says a note on love. Seek different seasons and enter into the unknown. When love is the focus, foundations and goal, blessed is the body, mind and soul. Okay, so some loving, compassionate energy there for you. Uh, very much matching the queen of water. There is door number two that looks super cool. These are actually pictures of real doors around our um, very interesting, weird and sometimes wonderful planet. So that's kind of cool. And we have silent skill. I challenge you to unpack your mind. In meditation's grace, the soul can unwind. Breathe in, breathe out, let go of doubt. So if there's something that you want to do, embrace that king of fire energy because man, oh man, when the king of fire energy, embrace that, when you got your mind set on something, this is when you're going to go for it, right? And we're letting go of doubts and fears. And there is door number three that looks kind of cool and creepy at the same time. I bet you there's bugs behind that door. And we have hummingbird song. Nectar of sweetness and joy it brings. The hummingbird's healing as medicine it sings. There we go. We got a little bit of healing energy there for you as well. I'm going to leave all that there for you guys. I hope there was something here for you. If so, please like, share, subscribe, throw a comment down the box, all in that, all of that jazz. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, and I will see you guys later. Bye.